The Mazda 6 is one of the most exciting family cars you can buy, but just because it looks good, don't go thinking it's not very practical. You see, while it may have a cool looking sloping roof line, you'll notice that headroom is still quite decent. Knee room's really generous and there's lots of space here in the footwell, so it doesn't matter if you've got big feet. But my favorite bit is how when you fold the rear seats down, the bases actually move forward so you don't have to faff around flipping them out. And when you put all the seats down, you've got a nice flat load bay. I mean, look at the space as well. It's, it's positively cavernous. But even when you put the seats back, you can see that the boot is still a really generous size. The first thing you notice when you sit in the front of the Mazda 6 is that it has a distinctly sporty theme. Thankfully though, function hasn't been sacrificed in the interests of form because everything is logically laid out. You can find all the major controls without taking your eyes off the road. For instance, here's the heater controls. Yes, yeah, all very easy to find and the stereo controls as well. Dead simple. Now all cars are well equipped. All but the entry level model comes with climate control as standard. And you also get a multifunction steering wheel with cruise control. Obviously handy in this day and age, you also get auxiliary input for the stereo system. So you can listen to your iPod while you're on the move. Even though it's quite a large car, the Mazda 6 is actually pretty easy to navigate around town. You've got decent all round visibility. The driving position is spot on and all the controls are nice to use. And I like the positive feel to this six speed gearbox. As for engines, well, they're all cheap to run, they're refined, and in the case of the higher power versions, they deliver pretty exciting performance. However, the best bit about the six is the way it handles. The steering, it's really sharp and responsive. There's absolutely loads of grip and the thing just loves to go around corners. I mean, for me, it is the most engaging to drive of all the family cars. But if you want to have some fun, I suggest you drop your family off first, otherwise they may get a little bit sick. There is a trade-off for the car's sporty feel, however, and that's that the suspension is a bit on the firm side. Now, it's not uncomfortable, but it doesn't deal with potholes and bumps as well as, say, a Ford Mondeo does. And while on the subject, I don't think it's as relaxing a cruiser as a Vauxhall Insignia, because on the motorway, you get quite a bit of wind and road noise. And actually, it doesn't feel as up market inside as either of those two cars, because some of the plastics, they feel a little bit cheap. But then this Mazda does undercut its main rivals on price. When you consider how good it looks and how much fun it is to drive, it really is incredibly good value for money. 